Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 and we're in the John Deere booth. Right now we're with Nathan Gruel. Nathan, how's it going? Going very well, thank you. Okay, so this is a really cool product. It c combines obviously a John Deere combine with some satellite technology. Tell us about it. Yeah, so what we're showing here, it's called predictive feed rate control and it uses a combination of both cameras and satellite imagery to determine how fast the machine should go in the field. Okay, so the, the satellite is we're obviously working ahead of the machine, yes. looking at crop density, and then basically the machine adjusts based on that density of the crop uh, to basically maximize throughput. That's exactly right. It's kind of this uh, evolution of our, our existing product called Harvest Smart. This is the next generation of that where it's looking predictively in front of the machine to determine if it should speed up or slow down based on the crop density and the classification of height of the crop. So how often is it taking a read and making a calculation? It, it, this, it has to take some immense computing power to make this all happen. Yes, it, ha it does have a lot of processing uh, on the controller. It does use, again, like that imagery in the cloud that looks at it predictively versus reactive. And then the, sta the cameras, which you'll see on the, on the machine here, both stereo cameras are looking uh, in front of the cutter head for small grains and, and, and corn as well to determine if, if it should speed up based on that density. So there's a lot of processing power behind the computing of this machine. Is it using any data from prior applications during the growing season? Like so, you know, if you're, it knows obviously the, the spacing from the planting season or the seeding uh, time and obviously when the sprayer's running over it, it gets an idea of the crop density then too, or the crop canopy. Uh, is it using any of those uh, readings? Currently not now. We, we have explored some opportunities and making it a little bit more agnostic. But right now we're using the imagery from the satellites to measure that density and then the cameras in front of the machine. Is there any uh, idea on possibly the return on investment uh, based on the concept here of basically maximizing, you know, you're getting to an ideal productivity for the machine? Yeah, we, we've done a lot of studies on uh, looking at that capacity and the economic headroom purchasing some of this technology. Uh, and we do like to see a, a, a good payback for customers to do this on what you're gonna improve. There's still some testing we have to do uh, to really get down to the numbers exactly what customers want yeah. to see. But there's a lot of customer involvement in here on driving the right requirements for this feed rate control system. A lot of people have driven a combine and you know, you hear that certain sound, you're like, oh, that's a little bit too fast. I need yeah. to slow down because I don't want to plug this sucker. Uh, this would avoid that. That's exactly right, yeah. And we, we also have Combine Advisor, which is our automation system looking at grain quality and grain losses and determining the best settings. This is kind of that additional link where you already have auto track in the machine with speed control now using predictive feed rate you're kind of uh, have a little bit more comfort than trust the automation's working by controlling the speed in uh, denser crops, less dense crops. Uh, and when does it become a reality in the marketplace? Yeah, we'll, we'll see this product in the near future. Um, not to give specific dates, but we'll see it in the near future. Okay, thanks a lot, I really appreciate it. You're welcome.